And it's not just airlines that were hit hard by the CrowdStrike outage. Sectors from healthcare to hospitality are feeling the effects. The other question, will bad actors now try to capitalize on this outage? For more on the cybersecurity landscape, we're bringing Ahmed Banafa, professor at San Jose State University. Ahmed, it's good to see you. You know, I thought it'd be interesting, Ahmed, just to, to frame the CrowdStrike event, because I've heard it described as the most spectacular IT failure ever. Do you agree with that, Ahmed? Absolutely, because this is going down to the impact on people. I mean, before you have some kind of uh, uh, breaches or some kind of an IT outage, which is, will be specific for a company, specific for a certain sector. Now you're talking across the sectors, and people feel this one, especially during one of the busiest weeks uh, of travel, uh, you know, in the summer. So, so that that label is really worth it. Ahmed, how long do you think it is before we are fully recovered? All systems back up and running. Is this hours? Is it days longer? That's a good question, uh, Josh. Here's, here's the, the real story here. There are two categories of the companies or the computers that uh, impacted by this kind by this uh, outage. One of them that can be fixed by rebooting very quickly, remotely. The other one, which is the one that we're still dealing with as, you know, as consumers, is uh, the one that has to be done manually. You have to have a USB drive go to that computer the endpoint that's the name of it you know from you know from a technical point of view and then go and delete that file that that's the file that created all this now you're talking about thousands of computers has to be done manually so it's not days it could be weeks and often do you expect um, bad actors criminals to try to take advantage of this event in some way they they already started. I mean, and they always on this standby, uh, you know, uh, case or state where if there is any kind of chaos anywhere in the world that created by online services, they will do many things. For example, fake website that will tell uh, people, okay, just uh, you know, enter your information here or uh, download this uh, uh, program that's going to fix the problem. Uh, fake uh, impersonation. Somebody will start calling those companies and say, I am from CrowdStrike or from Microsoft, and I would like to get access to your system so I can fix it. Uh, the other thing is that sending some kind of script, which is the, the programs to fix the, the, the problem and phishing emails. Uh, sent by millions and somebody will click on it and then we're going to have a ransom problem instead of dealing with this. So Ahmed, all that sounds pretty spooky. If, if you're a viewer and you're listening to this, what steps should you take to try and protect yourself from those threats? Well, number one is there is a there is an important uh, principle in cybersecurity, which is think before you click and always check the uh, the source. For example, if I receive an email or a phone call or, you know, uh, I looked at a website and I have this feeling that this is this website is there's a problem because the link looks, uh, you know, shady in a sense that don't even go close that go to the website of the company CrowdStrike all Microsoft, a look for the help from them. Don't try to get it, you know, straight from somebody else. And this is what they've been talking about the whole morning. Would you expect Ahmed, after all is said and done here, from Microsoft to reevaluate the relationship it has with CrowdStrike? I think this is will be a possibility. I don't think that the Microsoft is happy with the PR that generated and the loss in the stock market that they hit, you know, by uh, by this kind of uh, action. Because uh, Josh, the one of the things about it, why this one is really went through the the cracks and nobody noticed it, is you never question updates when you have an update, you know, for Windows or update for one of your software. You know, it's coming from the company, so it's safe. So what happened is that went through all those 8.5 million devices. And they are really in a very essential, you know, a point of our economy. I'm not going to be surprised if uh, Microsoft, you know, is is in, in looking at it very carefully and trying to see if this is a, if this relationship can continue. Find finding Plan B for them because it's not good for Microsoft at all. 